The next year, I started my postgrad, and that's where things went horribly wrong. Uh, I failed three of my four tests within, you know, the, the tests that you do within the first few months of, of your postgrad, and it gutted me. I'd never failed anything before. I'd struggled, but I'd never failed. And this was a whole new level of struggle. This was a whole new wall that I'd never come across before, didn't know what was going on. And at the time, it absolutely felt like I was never going to see the other side of the wall. Should I quit? Should I, you know... Should I leave? Should I deregister? Maybe people were right. I wasn't supposed to do this. And um, even though there were, even though there were people around me that were studying and struggling um, at different levels, it still felt very alone. I still felt extra stupid. I still felt that you know this wasn't going to happen. Um, I kept on failing tests <laughs> through through the year, which wasn't great. And again, it meant so much to me that I had to. I had to swallow my pride and I had to swallow that fear of looking stupid and go to my lecturers and ask for help. And that wasn't easy. That wasn't something that I was comfortable doing for, you know, for a whole bunch of reasons. I didn't want them to think I wasn't working. I didn't want them to think I was stupid. I felt like I was supposed to figure this out on my own. Uh, but I, I swallowed that and went for help because I just, you know, I didn't have the time. I was studying part time. I didn't have the time to figure it out on my own. So I struggled on through. I did pass the year, which was such a relief. Um, it was just an amazing relief because I really was terrified that I was never going to make it. The interesting thing here is that you can see through my academic journey, there was a lot of struggle and it really didn't look like it was going to come right. Um, and yet every next goal, I didn't take, I didn't bank the confidence from the previous goal, you know. And that's important to realize is that I never sat down and said, look, this is really tough, but I've been through tough stuff before and I've overcome those walls, even, you know, even when I didn't think that I would. Um, I didn't actually bank that confidence in my ability to struggle through. Uh, and I see that a lot in my students as well. When you struggle through something, I want you to pay attention to that and go, hey, I need to remember that I'm capable of getting over those walls.